hello guys and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new here this video is going to be a very long one and you are gonna watch me do my nails in real time so yeah just bear with me i promise it's not going to be boring because i will be here all the time trying to like tell you what's happening in the video and maybe share some uh, stories of mine so by the way um i'm only going to do one hand because i find it really hard to uh, record while using my non-dominant hand and you know um i'm just trying like to stay uh, in front of the camera and I don't know just so you can see what I'm doing and it's pretty hard uh, like this anyway so I just thought uh, it's going to be easier for me to work um, on my left hand so anyways Back to what I'm doing here, I'm removing my nails. I, I am having like a cat eye polish on extensions, gel extensions. I honestly really, really loved these nails and I feel sorry that i have to like let them go um what you see here on my ring finger is just me um uh, trying to remove them <coughs> excuse me trying to remove uh, something that i tried on my nail a few days ago it was i received a new package of nail supplies and there were some um, dual forms for a mini almond shaped nails and I tried I tried to see like how they work but I'm still confused about those um I don't know the shape is very weird it's not something that I am used to but hopefully if I use them a bit more I will get used to to them and maybe i will be able to like use them in a good way and just figure them out so i'm removing my gel nails and what i had in mind here is that i wanted square nails square shaped nails and i wanted i want them hmm i want them shorter then what i have here so i'm just shortening the length of my nails and i just didn't know at this point what the design will be i just knew that i wanted uh, short square nails so yeah it actually takes me this is a very long video and it takes me a lot of time to do one hand and usually when I do my nails it takes me like I think half a day uh, but the thing is I lately I'm doing one hand in one day and just come back to the other one in another day because I just I don't know I feel like it's too much for me to sit uh, in one place for so long. There are times when I'm in the mood and uh, I'm in the mood of doing nails and I'm just so curious about um, the ending result that I sit there and I kind of like lose track of time, which in a way is good. But when I finish and I realize like, how long it took me i feel it on my back and you know um, yeah 
so anyways i'm just uh, doing this one hand today and just come back to the other one on another day um even though i know that if i don't do them in one day um i'm just going to like postpone it <laughs> um and you know i will be having on my left hand one design and on the other hand the older one the older design so uh, it's not going to be very beautiful but what can you do i'm a nail tech and this happen like often and i've heard that i'm not the only one so yeah <laughs> shout out for nail techs and you know yeah so anyways anyways i i didn't cut like any parts of this video so it's just raw footage and it's just how i recorded it i try to like not touch the camera very much um but you will see me like moving um angles because i felt like maybe you can see better in a different angle but there are always there are also going to be like times when um my battery died on the camera so um i didn't notice and i was so angry that that happened but i promise you you are not going to miss uh, out a lot and i'm just going to try to explain to you like uh, what the camera didn't record so yeah no worries about that and also i just wanted to let you know that every product i'm using in this video is going to be linked um, in the description box down down below and you will find there everything that i used i want you to be able to search for um the nail supplies and everything if you are interested so it's gonna be easy just check the description box now i'm just dusting off all the nail dust because you know you want like a clean plate and everything so you can work on and by the way um my nail duster is so good i totally recommend it it's from shemax um i bought it recently you can check that uh, unboxing video where i just received the package with um this nail duster it's uh a vlog so if you are interested in that kind of videos i totally recommend you to go check the nail vlog playlist on my channel there are lots of episodes there and yeah just check it out i promise you you won't regret it and yeah back to what i'm doing i am shaping the nails and just remove the natural shine so this is called um, prepping the nails it's really really important you guys to prep the nail correctly because this affects how long the nail will last so it's a really really important step and i always pay attention when i'm doing this and i'm allowing like time and you know just try to be careful to do it right but at this point um you know i am working in the nail industry for 12 years 12 years yeah and at this point it's just for me it comes natural uh, to to do this part and you know but if you are a beginner i am advising you to like be careful with this step it's 
the most important step i would say because when you have customers what they want in the first place is um that the nail will last a long time and then of course it will be the design and um, the shape and other stuff but the most important thing is for the nails to last as long as they can <laughs> okay just for a month if if your nail lasts for a month then you're good so yeah when i first started doing nails actually when i went to school to like learn how to do nails i remember um when my nail teacher actually told me like a lot of times to be careful when i prep the nail and just check uh for you know the natural shyness to be removed gently of course this is another friendly advice that i can give you if you are a beginner uh just don't file not, don't over file the nails and just be gentle and careful with the natural nail because it's very important we don't want to ruin that we we want to like take care of it and yeah so just check the sides and just maybe use a buffer uh, file if you have one for the sides or you know it's definitely a bit easier to cover like a bigger um, a bigger surface on the nail plate so just just do that if if it if you find it hard to do it with um this kind of file so yeah my teacher always said to be careful and to check the sides as well so that's that's another good advice that i can give you so i'm just going to push back the cuticles now this is usually the first step but i only remembered like after i removed my nails and i said i'm gonna do it after shaping them and that's okay because i will come back with a cuticle bit and it will remove the shyness anyways so yeah i'm just pushing back the cuticles now really gently um and then i will use my e-file and a cuticle bit and i'm just going like to work on the cuticle area for now this technique is called a russian manicure and I'm using this kind of nail bead. And back to what I was saying about the Russian manicure, it's like, you know, you have to work on dry. It's also called, I think, dry manicure. And you have to like work on dry skin and everything. So you cannot like hydrate your cuticles when doing this uh, when you do like a classic manicure where you just want to apply um, nail polish you will have to like first um, put your hand in a bowl of water so you can hydrate the cuticles and then gently remove them but in here it's not the same we have to like work on um dry skin so i actually find this better i like that the skin is not hydrated i like that i can work with a cuticle bead and just clean everything it comes off really easy i don't know how much you can see I turned on the brighter light because I thought it's gonna be a good idea so I, I hope you are seeing what I'm doing and maybe you 
can learn something if you are watching this video uh, or maybe just relax or maybe just you know watch me work and um get inspired or you know something like that i want to also mention that i am using my e-file in the forward direction so that means i am only filing one way and then i am switching to reward and filing the opposite way i think this is better than just turn your head like in a really bad position and only use the forward um direction i don't think that's very comfortable and when having like lots of customers it's better to like let them be as relaxed as they can and you just try to do your best so you won't like have to move their hand a lot so yeah forward and reverse with the cuticle bit i am also using a small brush so i can dust off the excess and the dust so i can see um, where i work and where i have to like work more so yeah this is good like to use a small brush and as you can see the brush is sitting on my small finger and that's because it's more handy to have it like close to you and not just constantly try to reach for it whenever you need it so yeah i think i find this easier so turning off my e-file and i'm going to um cut the cuticles now i remember when i first started doing it actually when I learned how to do nails, I was so scared to do this step. And long after um, my seminars and everything, I was still, you know, having trouble, like um, getting used to to cut the cuticles. But right now, I feel it comes so natural to me. And you guys, it takes lots of practice to get comfortable with a technique. So again, if you are a beginner, I I just I just want to tell you that it's gonna get better. And just practice, practice, practice is very, 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 very important. I'm telling you. So yeah, this um, cuticle these small cuticle scissors I bought recently it was on sale and I really really wanted a new one and the tip of it it's curved so that helps me a lot I'm telling you the previous one wasn't like this and I thought that's the best scissor I have ever had so um, after buying this i i do not agree anymore i think this is the best and it's it makes things easier and if you can make things easier for you then why not do it i mean you know so yeah for the next part i'm going to use um cuticle oil and i'm going to hydrate a bit my cuticles right now and i'm going to use another cuticle bit this one is uh rounded and i'm just going to rem remove the last bits of cuticle that uh there is left just gently uh you don't have to like use a higher speed I think I am using just 
nine or so on this step so yeah so i am repeating this on each nail and by the way guys i also have a tiktok account and an instagram account this is just nail content on this account so i will add the links in the description box down below so make sure to check that and follow me and let's just you know share nail stuff and nail art and so on so yeah these accounts are only for nail content but i don't know if you know i also like to paint so i also have like a painting account on tiktok and on instagram as well so i will leave them there just in case someone is interested in that as well um i have different accounts for different things i find it more easier um you know people can follow me on what they are interested in so it's not mixed so yeah i'm just going to clean um the cuticles and the oil from the cuticles and the nails just clean it really really good we don't need any oil uh, left in there we need to add a uh, nail prep and nail bonder and a gel base so we need the nails to be clean so these are the next steps and by the way have you seen like like i just told you this nail prepping team thing uh, takes a bit of time but you know like i said this is the most important thing so make sure to like not skip it so i am applying nail prep on each nail and i try to only apply on the natural nail and not um on the gel part because i you know i just removed my nails and i didn't remove them like 100 percent so we don't want any liftings so i'm just applying them to my natural nails and i do the same with the bonder so i'm just applying bonder on each nail and this helps um the with the adhesion for um the next thing that that will be applied on the nail which is a gel base another thing that i can tell you is that i like to use um a gel polish base because it's more flexible and that helps a lot um with how long they last so um it matters in time it really does so this is what i'm doing right now i am applying a gel polish base on each nail you can also apply rubber base gel as a base gel um i know i used to do that and i'm still doing it when i run out uh, of gel polish base so it's not bad it's still really flexible so use it um i'm just using my mini uv lamp here to cure on this nail because um i touched the skin and i didn't want i just wiped it and i didn't want um any products to like you know be on the nail on on the skin sorry it is very important to not have any product on the skin because that will um make your gel 
lift so we don't want any lift things and i am curing this base gel in the uv lamp for like 30 seconds or so um, i think 30 seconds it's enough you don't need to go one minute i feel like um with the new and improved uv lamps uh you know gels are curing a lot faster than they used to i remember when i first started doing nails um i only have uh a uv lamp with it was so small and it took me like 10 minutes to cure uh, the extensions so yeah so i'm going to use this um, mini uv lamp with a clip uh, it's going to be much easier for me uh, when i have to like you know um, cure the extension and i'm also using these dual forms uh they are from yas and they are flat dual forms for slim nails but i kind of use them right now to just build uh extensions and i'm going to add a bit of apex after i don't want flat nails right now so i'm just uh trying to find the right size for each nail um, you have to be careful and i'm trying here to be really careful to choose the right side size and that means that um, the sides of the tip both of them have to be like a continuous line of the sides of your natural nails so the tip have to like embrace uh, the natural nail so be careful with that and i'm also using a builder gel from her nails and uh her shop i think sorry her shop uh and i think this is called soft nude at this point i uh, decided to do a french manicure i really wanted to like practice a bit more and i also bought a, um, an, a stamping a stamping plate uh, with like i will show you in a bit so anyways we will get back to the stamping plate when i'm gonna use it and right now i'm just placing the builder gel in the dual form I really wanted to use this particular uh, gel because I know I've used it before and I think I used it with dual forms and it didn't cure well. I mean it was cured on top but in the middle it wasn't uh, cured so I just said I'm gonna give it another chance and I, I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully this time it will work. I got a little bit more experienced with using uh, these dual forms. So maybe I did something wrong and maybe I used too much product and it didn't cure well. These uh, gels are pretty pigmented. So yeah, so I'm just placing the dual form on my nail and i'm waiting for the mini lamp to like cure the gel that sits on my nail and i'm not curing the extension because i'm checking to see if everything's okay and i can still move that uncured gel and you know shape it the way i want it to so now i'm just um cure it in the uv lamp for a few seconds and that's enough because i'm going to work on the next nail and then i will cure that again so i'm not touching uh, the dual form yet i'm just going to cure for a few seconds so i can work on the other uh, nail and so on so i feel like i should cure a bit more in here 
and that's what i'm doing and yeah i think that's enough i'm just double check checking to see uh, how long the nail should be these dual forms have like some lines uh, they can guide you to like for the size of the nail so yeah i'm just uh, going to like build the next uh, extension and oh my god the amount of talking i did right now i'm not usually a person that talks very much and i'm honestly i'm an introvert and i like to be quiet a lot but you know i feel like if you were going to watch this video without me talking maybe you would like lose patience and you would get bored so i don't want that i want you to like enjoy watching this movie this uh, movie i wish uh, i want you to enjoy watching this video and i want you to feel relaxed but also maybe just learn a few things if that's possible so yeah uh, so I'm just going to cure uh, the next extension and I took off the nail form after all because it was really uh, bothering me. It was just standing in the way of me applying the second um, form. So um, yeah. it's just really hard to do your own nails. I don't know if you've done it before. But it's really hard like i love doing nails and i usually move pretty fast with my customers but when i do my own nails it just takes me so long so 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 long and that's why sometimes i'm just like thinking twice before deciding to do my nails because i know it's time cons cons consuming and i have to like be ready and prepared to you know the whole process to do the whole process so i wanted to remove the second one but i feel like it should stay there a bit longer because i feel like it should be cured a bit more so i'm just gonna leave it uh, there for now and i'm just coming with um a small amount of filter gel and just um you know put it like in a thin layer first and then i'm coming with a bigger amount and slowly slowly uh, building up the extension this is how i'm doing and uh on the cuticle area i usually use less product there because I don't want to have too much that would mean that I would have to like file a lot after and I want to spend like not very much time with filing so yeah so I'm applying the dual form on my third nail and waiting for it to be cured so i'm just sometimes i like to move my my finger uh one way or and the other way so i i make i'm making sure that uh the mini lamp it's curing the sides as well it's really hard to do i mean to use dual forms with uh gel uh, rather than using polygel or acrygel because that doesn't move uh, or run as um, fast as gels but at the same time i love gels and i just i think i love them more than polygel maybe maybe one day i will be friends with polygel as well but for now i feel like i can use builder gels if i move a little bit faster with um 
dual forms but that also takes lots of practice so that's why i'm trying to like use the dual forms whenever i do my own nails so i can practice more i do use them i mean i use them on my customers as well because there are some that prefer um dual forms it's giving the nails a different kind of shape let's say it like that and there are some customers that prefer that but there are also some that like to go the old-fashioned way so uh, depending on that i might use or might not use the dual forms so yeah so I'm just placing um, the dual form on my nail and slowly, slowly like move my finger in front of the UV lamp for a better, you know, cure process. As you can see this, or maybe you cannot see because I'm, yeah sorry uh, <laughs> as you can see um this nail is a bit shorter so i'm just adding more gel and i'm just trying to make it a bit longer so since the uh, gel from under the nail so since the gel from the tip is not cured i can add more so yeah so now i'm just curing in the uv lamp and i'm going to uh, move to the last nail and do that one as well just let's just remove um the dual forms and yeah checking again because as you can see you can go wrong um with the size i think it depends on how your nail uh, looks like i mean the size of your natural nails some nails are like for instance the pinky one is usually uh smaller than the others and it's usually not as wide so that means that uh the extension might be a bit longer than the other ones and for the thumb you usually have to like add um, a little bit of extra length so it will match the other ones this usually happens with the thumb and i think the middle finger and finally on to my last nail and after this we are going to file and file really hard <laughs> on these extensions i will also do an under refill so you will see in a bit and i will explain more but it usually like takes a bit of time and i usually spend more time on um, filing them because i want a perfect shape i'm obsessed with having a perfect shape and since i don't usually wear square nails uh it's gonna be really weird for me to see them like that like this and i will have the feeling um that they are like too big or too wide um and i will you know want to file as much but i will try to not do that i will try um to follow the natural na line of the nail so yeah i'm just uh, curing right now and then i will remove all the dual forms and i don't know if you noticed but i don't like to sit and do nothing so i have to put the lid back on uh, my gel 
with my non with one hand i mean <laughs> and yeah i usually do this i don't like just you know sitting and do nothing and this usually happens uh, when you do your own nails i mean you cannot work on both hands like you do on a customer so you have to wait so yeah let's just remove um the dual forms and now i'm just going to use some um, cleanser and wipe off the sticky layer from my nails i do this because like i said we are going to file these nails and we don't want uh, no sticky layer uh, because well i think it's obvious so yeah I'm going to take my Shea Max Professional Nail Duster and um, turn it on because I will file the nails and I don't want any dust. By the way, I used to have another um, nail duster. I used it a really long time it wasn't the most expensive one it was okay -ish at first but i was getting tired of all the dust um you know it wasn't the best and at some point uh instead of it sucking the dust inside it was blowing it up and i had dust all over my um working desk and i had dust in my mouth on my hands on my hair and everywhere so i i was just so upset and i decided to invest in a better one and i'm really really pleased with with this one i totally recommend it so i switched to um, a smaller kind of bit uh, so i can file the cuticle area a bit uh, more easier um, this is my favorite kind of bit for this step and i also use this to do the under refill thing uh, you will see me do that in a bit and i find this I, you know I have smaller ones for uh, places that this one cannot reach so yeah but this still remains my favorite one and I'm sorry guys that I keep talking like about nails and trying to like help you when maybe you don't even need it it's just it's in my nature somehow um i don't know if you know that feeling when you love something very much and you just want to talk about it you crave to talk about it with someone so this is me right now trying to i don't know <laughs> i'm just you know talking about what i love and it makes me really really happy but i'm just going to stop right now and i'm just maybe going to tell you maybe a small story about i don't know uh still nails but you know something that happened uh while i was working let me think of something that I went through hmm. okay okay I got one story for you guys so it happened maybe after three or four years after uh, learning to do nails I remember I finally like found customers and I was I think 
three years is not that long i knew what i was doing but i cannot say i was a pro yet um and to be honest if i look back at that time right now i honestly can say that i was clueless but mostly i was clueless about what kind of customers to choose um being a beginner you kind of want to just work and you know everyone who wants to come do your nail do their nails um uh you know okay uh, i kind of like lost track of what i wanted to say so everyone that you know wants you to do their nails you just feel maybe flattered a little bit and you are excited i know i was i was really excited to get any customer and to just work and practice and work and there was this uh, girl who wanted um really long nails she was i think yeah first time she came to do her nail um at my place and she wanted really long nails and i remember she was really really nice and we talked a lot and she wasn't really like she just wanted simple nails so nothing too complicated so uh, i was just really happy that i got a chance to work so i remember that after doing her nails uh she got up and she told me that she doesn't have any money at her at the moment that she had to uh she was a teenager as i remember so she told me that she had to uh, pay for some things at the hospital something about her health and she ran out of money um but then she told me that her sister is living nearby and asked me if she can ask her sister to come by later and give me the money and i was really naive you guys and i really really thought that she will come back she was so nice and um I really trusted her i know i shouldn't have like even talking about this right now i can hear how naive i was for trusting someone that i never met before um but i was willing to believe that no one can do this to me or no one can do this kind of thing to anyone uh, so um, i chose to trust her uh and then when I asked her about the money, she didn't reply anymore. And then later, uh, some more customers came to me and I talked about her. Some of them knew her. And someone told me that this is the thing that she usually does. And she did it uh, to someone else as well and i was i was so pissed off i was angry because even though i didn't charge very much because i was a beginner i really needed those money um especially because i didn't charge that much i needed the money to like buy more products and invest in nail supplies so it doesn't actually matter like how how much you charge it's your time it's your work and you know it's your money so if you give someone something they have to like pay you back so i was i was really pissed off and i was kind of disappointed in me for trusting uh for for trusting her but i was also really young and like i said naive 
and you know these things happen but i can honestly say that i learned my lesson because after death thing after what happened then i also had like customers who uh, ask me if they can come do her na- their nail and then pay me another day customers that i already knew but i never ever accepted s- such thing like anymore and i i just i couldn't after what happened and you know you have all the right to refuse something you have all the right to say no to someone if you think it's better for yourself so i i said no uh in a really nice way i try to be nice i always try to be nice with my customers um so i told them that if you don't don't have money then we should reschedule because you know guys i'm i'm just thinking that nails aren't like a necessity and i feel like it's something that you want to do for yourself and it's also something that if you don't have money to pay for them then maybe you should not have them at all or maybe just wait until you have the money so yeah this is what happened and i remember to this day because i was shocked i was literally shocked of what happened then and i think that was that was the worst thing that actually happened to me or i had a similar um kind of situation but not about money you know guys i just want to say before telling you the next story that i like i said i'm an introverted person i don't like to argue i don't like to speak very much so therefore i don't like to argue with anyone but if i have to i will uh like you have to like really make me really really angry so that i will say something and if i can i try to like deal with the issues and problems in a nice polite way so just wanted to say this because um the story that i'm about to tell you is um something that only happened to me once and i promised myself that i will never ever let anyone uh yell at me so there was this customer who i met like at um at a store she was working there and i don't know how it came i don't know i cannot remember but she saw my nails and i think i told her that i'm a nail tech and then she asked for my number and that's how she became my customer and one day she was supposed to come to do her nails around nine in the morning and she i i remember i had to like walk my dog first so it was before nine anyways and she kept messaging messaging me on um, facebook messenger but my internet was off so i didn't get a notification until i i came back home uh she was telling me that she is early and if she can come earlier but i wasn't ready i was just i was getting ready and then she called me and out of the blue she started yelling at me that she is ringing uh the door like the doorbell and i'm not answering to her and i told her i promise you uh you're not doing that 
on my door because I don't hear anything. And she then, I think she believed, I don't know, she thought that maybe I was messing with her and she started yelling even more, telling me that uh, you are playing games and stuff like those. And then she realized that she was at a, di a different building. She wasn't where she was supposed to be, meaning at my door. So when she came, she started yelling at me and stuff like those. And I still worked on her nails, but I was shaking, you guys, because I was so angry. And I told her that your appointment is at 9 and I don't know why you are so so angry and why are you yelling but you know so yeah uh, i still worked on her nails but i she's not my customer anymore that was the last time i worked on her nails and i felt terrible uh she, you know i've don't like to argue like I said and it's really really bad when someone yells at you and you just I don't think I, I can yell at someone unless I'm really 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 angry and when she started yelling I was just shocked because it never happened to me before and I froze like I didn't know what to say or how to act or how to react you know so this is what happened uh, and yeah that's kind of it i still have a few stories left but maybe for another time i mean i do have experience like when it comes to customers now i learned a lot and i know how to choose my customers more carefully and i do not allow them to treat me bad so yeah, but it takes time. It takes time. So, if uh, let's just go back to what I'm doing with my nails. Uh, so, after filing them, I am coming with another layer of gel and I'm doing uh, the apex. So, this is what I'm doing right now. And I am turning my finger upside down because you know for better self leveling the gel is um really fluid and when you turn your hand around like upside down it levels itself better so you don't have to like uh struggle with placing the apex uh, where it's supposed to be it kind of does that by itself so this is what I'm showing you. I'm completing like that part where the gel is missing. So yeah. And I am also curious um, if you want to let me know in the comment section down below. Um, like when did you start doing nails and why did you do it? Or if you are a beginner maybe just tell me what made you want to do nails i am pretty curious i want to see uh what what you are thinking guys i want to start a beautiful conversation about nails and maybe we can help each other and encourage each other and you know uh help each other if we can I myself started doing nails, uh, like I said, I think 12 years ago and I remember I just finished high school and I was, um, I applied for college and I was uh, doing that as well, going to college and I was also uh going for nail uh, seminars and courses and it was really good i remember because so i so many things um 
I was I I had like lots lots of questions about nails, and they were answered while learning about nails, and I was really 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 happy. Um, and meanwhile, I I realized that this is something that I want to do, that I like it, and before uh, deciding to learn about nails, I think. I was 12 years old myself when I started doing my, my nails using gel polish, only gel polish. And I had this desire to paint on the nails, like do different kind of designs. And everyone was asking me if I also do gel nails, but I wasn't actually very interested in gel nails at first but I don't know it kind of just happened like I said I'm gonna try and if I like it I'm gonna do it but if not I can always just give up it's not the end of the world so this is how it happened for me and I'm curious to see how you guys started uh, doing nails please just just let me know and right now I am um, I am filing my nails again, just a little bit, not as much as before, just to have like a smooth surface and a level surface. And like I said, I'm going to use the stamping plate for the French manicure. There are different kinds of um, French designs on this. Um, stamping plate and I'm going to see which one fits the best on these uh, nails for the shape and for the length and I'm gonna check it uh, in a bit after filing all the nails and I changed the angle of the camera because I thought you are going to be able to I don't know see better but I think I think it's not the best because my other hand keeps getting in the way and I think you cannot see anything I didn't realize that and I'm sorry but like I said uh, I am here to guide you through this video with my voice <laughs> so yeah, struggling to uh, file my pinky. It was always like a big challenge for me uh, to keep my pinky in place so I can file it. Uh, so yeah, but this is how I do it. I am using my ring finger to keep the pinky in place. So just gonna dust off everything and I guess I'm gonna um, I do the thumb now because <laughs> this is the last one okay so you really cannot see much and this is where uh, yeah and this is where my battery died and I already filed uh, the thumb and now I'm just checking to see what kind of French design I can add to these nails. Um, it really took me a while and I couldn't decide uh, right away. I was torn between two of them. Uh, I didn't know exactly if I want to have like that big uh, kind of smile line for my French um but yeah i went with that one and i'm using um a i'm using a nail polish that is uh just for stamping i think it's better than the other ones and i'm just stamping the guidelines to my nail 
and yeah I'm, re I'm using this roller to like clean my stamping uh so yeah i don't know what i'm i yeah i'm using some pure acetone to like wipe off the mess i made with uh the nail polish and i'm going to do it again for uh my other nail scrape it off and then just stamp it on the nail and i think you cannot see very much or very good how i'm stamping this on my nail um i don't know what i did i forgot to like pay attention to the camera i guess um at this point i think i was having doubts about choosing the stamping plates over um my you know brush and my skills to do the french by myself uh so yeah i'm wiping that off because i think it was not a straight line and it didn't look good so i'm trying again it was a really really like frustrating process after i realized that it's not that easy i only did this because i thought it's gonna help me but to be honest i don't feel like this is easy maybe you have to like be a pro with um the nail plates uh, i i always struggled i don't know why it's it's supposed to be easier you know but i guess i like uh the fact that i have total control over my brush and i can do it the way i want to and i'm just showing you how how uh, the stamping worked uh but it was really really frustrating and i'm checking again for the middle finger to see which which size uh, works for that that particular nail and i couldn't decide right away it, it was really interesting to see that this is really really not that easy it's not that as easy as it seems or as i thought because the way i do it it doesn't seem easy at all i think i guess i don't know so yeah i just keep doing it um i think for each nail and yeah i'm really really sorry that you cannot see what i'm doing but it was really hard for me to see either way like i was trying um to turn my finger uh, in a way that i could see and just stamp the design in a straight way like you know uh, and it was really hard so i couldn't like you know do it like in front of the camera i would have, would have had to like lean really um i mean too much and i couldn't i couldn't see so I did my best <laughs> i really really did my best and yep doing it again and just wiping off uh, the other uh, you know because i took two designs at once and i only needed one so yeah i keep watching to see if this will look good or not but i cannot tell like for now it looks good but i will have to like um go back and feel uh that area on the tip with white gel polish and that's when i will actually see if uh, these guidelines are good or not uh so yeah just stamping the pinky 
and I'm checking again. I, I am constantly checking because I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, look, it looks pretty nice right now. It really does, and I feel more optimistic now that uh, all the nails are um, stamped. But I also saw that uh, the thumb one is. I don't know, I think it wasn't wide enough. So I said I'm gonna do it again because I really really wanted to reach uh, perfection. Um, I know we all have our definition for perfection perfectionism, but um, you know, I really really wanted to do my best. And so yeah, that's what I'm, why I'm doing it again. And yeah, just stamping it again. And this is how it looks. In a way, I have a feeling that the smile uh, line is too narrow. I don't know, too, uh, too big. It, I, I don't like it very much, but I've seen this kind of um, French manicure before and I always wanted to try it, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it will look good on me or maybe if I will like it, it may look good, but I don't know. <laughs> Something can look good and still you can just like, you can just not like it, you know. So this uh, thumb, the thumb one really gives me headaches and I'm doing it for the third time, I guess. Uh, at this point, I'm really frustrated and I just want to be over with it again. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm really hoping that this time it will look good. Trying to clean the stamping. And for some reason it's really, really hard. But I need to do it because I need to have it cleaned for the next time I am using it. So, yeah. Uh, that's why I usually clean my stamping plates and everything that I use when stamping uh, it's after all it's nail polish and it's gonna dry there and it's gonna be really hard to remove it afterwards so yeah I'm just going to move to the next step after cleaning a little bit I like to work on a clean desk if I can, but if I'm in a hurry, then I just don't care anymore, but I try to stay as organized as I can. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean. So I am going to take my white gel polish um, and I'm just going to paint I mean fill that blank part on the tip and I'm just removing with some acetone uh, those dots uh, that were guiding me to like stamp stamp it right so just acetone and yeah that is all that is all just uh, remove them as much as i can because i filed them before and now trying to get um nail polish out of those you know 
out of those small like scratches that I did with my file is really really hard so anyways so this is my um, white gel polish it's called arctic white from max professional and it's exclusively for doing french manicures i mean you can also use it to paint i guess and it's very it's very pigmented so it's really good for french manicure so i'm just painting really really slow uh the smile line i am feeling that space i mean i have a guideline so this should not be really hard um but i actually don't think i like it very much i f feel like it's too much white for my taste it's just a personal taste i don't know maybe there are some that like it this way uh just look at it i mean i'm not saying it looks bad but this is not what i had in mind but anyways i'm just gonna keep doing uh the next nail and see if it looks good i don't know i maybe i have to see more than one nail to like actually decide if i should stick with uh with this kind of French or not so yeah I'm just um, you know <laughs> trying my best trying my best I'm trying my best you guys I really am and again you cannot see very much what I'm doing but like I said I'm just feeling that space with white that's all i'm doing and now that this nails is that this nail is also done i don't like it i'm sorry i don't i keep looking at it and i just don't like it i don't know i don't know i'm trying to f i don't know <laughs> I really really don't maybe i should just hand paint the french design i feel like i would have like more freedom to do whatever i want to to fit my nails and my i don't know my tastes so i'm not saying it looks bad it's just that <clears throat> sorry it's not what i had in mind so I just took some acetone and I am going to remove um, everything. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. I worked so hard and now I'm just gonna remove everything. Uh, I so hate when this happens, but I know myself and I know that if I'm going with this, I'm going to regret it and I'm, I'm going to keep like looking at my nails and don't feel happy so i would rather spend another few minutes or hours uh, on the design and just be happy on the ending result than i don't know just go with something that i don't like very much and regret it so yeah so just like i said removing uh nail polish from uh nails that were filed mm, that's kind of hard but just take a buffer and i don't know just remove remove them like this so the way i'm doing french nail nails it's like i am painting three small lines one in the middle and another one in the middle of the remaining part and 
on the right side and on the left side so then i'm just just trying to like um just paint the lines and you know those those three ones they are like my guidelines so yeah it's not that hard it really takes practice um i used to hate french manicure and it i'm still not a big fan of it i don't usually wear it it's just that i felt like i wanted to have like something different this time so that's why i went with a french manicure but i don't usually uh wear this kind of design mm, i used to wear a lot like black and red nails and maybe just a dark red on my nails but for some reason i like uh, nude colors more um i've been buying lots of like builder gels that are so natural and they have like a little bit of glitter and a little bit of um i don't know confetti or stuff like those and they are just so natural and delicate and pretty so i've been wearing those kind kinds of designs on my nails and i really like them and i think it's gonna be weird for me to have black or red nails right now but they are still like my favorites and i really enjoy when i do them for my customers so back to french manicure um it's it's really it it really looks like a very simple manicure but for a nail tech i feel like that's the most complicated kind of design that you can ask for so i don't know but but i like challenges and even if one of my customers is asking for a french manicure i won't mind i really like doing them and it's not like or at least it's not in here from where i am uh, it's not a trend to wear french manicure anymo anymore mm, i still do them from time time to time because i have a feeling like i know that french manicure is it's a classic manicure so it it won't ever be i don't know it's always gonna be on trend for me i don't know i i just feel so so even if you like it or not as a nail tech you have to know how to do french manicure this is uh this is a fact when i learned to do nails i remember the kind of french manicure that i learned about was really different than i don't know this one is hand painted but i remember i was building uh i think uh people are still or nail techs are still doing that kind of uh french manicure but it was like built in the nail uh so you had to like use a white builder gel for uh to do uh the french design so this that's what i learned and i remember i thought it was so hard to do um but right now i really feel that uh this one that you can paint it's much easier so yeah so i'm just painting the french design on my ring finger and at this point i the first three nails were okay and i was really happy to see that i can do it better than a nail stamping plate but when i 
reached to the uh, ring fingernail. It was just, uh, I just wanted this to be over. I just, I, I wanted to finish as soon as I can. So, but still, still, I am still pretty patient because I went back and forth. Um, like a lot of time, a lot, a lot of times. So, yeah, you know, I just thought that okay, two more nails, two more, two more nails. You can do this. You can do this, girl. Come on. So, yeah, that's what I did. You can actually see that the last two nails. Are taking much longer than the first ones I don't know what happens what happened the nails were were the same so I don't know what happened I think like I said it was my fault because I was just so tired at this point I was really tired uh, I really wanted to to finish this so what I'm doing with the other brush is I'm taking a little bit of cleaner and I am wiping off some uh, white gel from my nail because uh, the line wasn't straight enough so I just wanted to fix that and this is one way that you can fix, fix this when you paint your French design. So yeah uh, and oh my god i'm wiping it off because i don't like it i just don't like it i don't know uh why i can't do this anymore so here i am trying again and again just trying again and like i said just two more nails two more, two more nails and this will be over but don't get me wrong i really enjoy all the process but when you are tired you just want to like finish and go get some rest if <laughs> you know what i mean i actually had in mind at some point that I'm going to finish both my hands, um, but I, okay, I, <laughs> I don't know what, what I was thinking about. I always think that when I start doing my own nails, um, first two, three steps, they seem so easy and I feel like I'm doing them like so fast and I say, okay, this is not that hard. I don't know why, why I'm complaining uh, so often that it takes me a lot of time to do my own nails. But as I'm doing them, I realize that the hardest part uh, comes after building the nails. So filing them and doing the design takes me the longest. And yeah, so... I just decided that I'm gonna do uh, my my right hand on another day. I just need some time. And maybe I can just do like a few nails between customers when I have a break. So yeah, I'm just gonna cure for a bit uh, the design and continue with my pinky i am curing between um, fingers because i don't want to smudge everything and you know i've worked hard to paint to paint it and maybe i will just you know make a mistake and just touched the other nail and ruined everything and i don't want that so uh, that's the reason why i'm curing each nail if i can for a 
few seconds uh it doesn't require to be cured like for such a long time because you are going back with the next nail anyways so yeah i am just thinking if i should add something else after i'm done with painting the french but since my nails aren't that long and since i already have like the french design on them i feel like i shouldn't add anything else i could if i want to mm, but i think for today i am going to go with the simple and yet elegant uh french design so nothing else i'm not going to add anything else mm. i was just thinking if i should try maybe adding like a glitter top gel on top i have uh, a it's called pixie white top gel i think and it has some small particles of glitter in it and it's just so pretty so maybe i can try to use that and see how it looks and maybe then decide if i should stick with that or with um just uh the usual clear top gel and i'm curing everything for 30 seconds now um since it's a really pigmented white gel i need it to be cured 30 seconds i think that's enough you don't need one minute but you can go with one minute just to be sure so yeah that's what i'm doing and checking again to see if everything is all right and i'm going to apply the clear uh, top gel on my thumb to see how it looks and i really like it it's just so cute but right now i'm just thinking uh, if i should add the glitter one or not i feel like they are too simple even though that's what i wanted i'm just sometimes i cannot make up my mind you guys it's really hard and i know you understand me i know everyone um has been in that place at least at least once in their lifetime where uh, you have to choose something and you cannot you just cannot make up your mind so i don't know i don't know if i should go with uh the pixie dust one and i'm just going to like add this one on the other nails I think I like it. I think it gives like a really nice vibe. Um like a really nice aesthetic to the nails. I know you cannot see very much. Uh, but I promise you it's nice. So I'm going to add to to each nail and then compare with my thumb which still has the clear top gel on it. I didn't cure it yet. Uh, just because I want to compare uh, the glitter one with the clear one so then I will decide and then I will be able to remove the one that I don't like so this is really cute like it's nice I like the the glitter one as well the thing is the glitter one has like a milky kind of base on it like it's not clear and glitter it's milky and glitter which makes everything look so milky ish for me so i removed it and i'm just going to apply the clear one on on the other ones so i decided to stick with the clear one this is what i'm gonna use and i'm going to 
leave them like this simple and cute and yeah no other design no other design so i'm curing for a little bit because i had the glitter one before adding this and because i wiped it off now when i apply another gel it kind of like goes to my cuticles and i don't like that so i am adding clear top gel on one nail and put it in the uv lamp to cure for a few seconds and then repeat with each nail so this way i won't end up having like unwanted uh gel on my skin which is not good guys it's not good because uh they are going to lift and that's not even like the major problem here but it's not good to have any kind of product on your skin it's not healthy trust me it is not so just be careful each time you apply a layer of something on your nails just be careful to not touch the skin it's really important and now i'm just curing for uh, a full minute i usually go with one and a half minute but uh, i think it's good just one if you are in a hurry uh, but just to be i don't know sure and just to be safe i'm i'm curing them for one and a half minute and for my customers i usually uh, do this for two minutes because i'm getting ready the cuticle oil and you know the last uh, steps for completing a manicure so i'm giving myself actually two minutes to uh, get those ready so the reason why i filed this um i want to have like a crisp kind of look to it i want them to feel like they are i don't know just well finished <laughs> i don't know how to to put it in words so uh i am just just a little bit with my hand file and i do this and and then i'm going to under file for a little bit so they won't be like too thick i don't want them to be thick i don't like that so i'm just removing the dust and i'm going to take my e file now and i'm going to under file just at the tip just a little bit with this rounded shaped um nail bit and it's easy just try it once and you'll see that this is not as hard as it looks and i'm doing this for each nail uh, my nails are usually like i they have a tendency to like grow downwards somehow and i don't like that at all and this is why i usually build extensions for my my nails because i like them to be uh, a bit more like upwards or a bit more like flat i don't know how to say it i think you understand so that's why so yeah i'm just going to apply some cuticle oil and this is a mix of mint and rosemary um, oils and it smells so good it's my favorite and it's just it's really good it hydrates my skin and my cuticles i don't like to have them dry it really makes me angry uh, or just i don't know it, it just gives me gives me that feeling that 
I just have to do something to hydrate my skin. So I am using um, this oil and you should always hydrate your cuticles. It would be best if you could do that every day, maybe before going to bed. Um, so you will have really nice and beautiful cuticles and using uh, a cuticle bit to like push the oil into my skin to massage it into my skin so yeah so now uh, i'm just going to remove the excess and i'm going to clean my hand and my nails to take some pictures and this is my favorite part taking pictures of my nails and i usually struggle a lot well not struggle but it takes me a lot of time to take pictures i want them to be beautiful i want them to look professional so yeah this is how my nail looks i hope you like them i really 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 love them and like I said, I don't usually wear French manicure, but this one, for some reason, I really, really love. And look at those tips, crisp, crisp, and I don't know, the details, they make a difference, trust me. Just put on, I don't know, just put that effort, extra effort, and into something, and you will see results. And this is how you get better, I feel. Even if it takes time. And this is it you guys. I am finally finished with this. I am so grateful. Um, that you are still here with me. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, that you bear with me. And yeah. I hope you like this video. And I hope you like this design. I know I do like it. I liked this design a lot and I'm obsessed. So make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Maybe share this video with a friend. And don't forget to add that comment. Uh, let's just have a chat about nails. It's all I want to do with you guys. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Be safe. Take care of you. Bye-bye.